Amen. Hallelujah. God is good. All the time. All the time. And all the time. God is good. Amen. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. 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 Amen. Let's just clap your hands to the Lord. Let's just say you are. You are the Holy One. You are the Living Word. You are. The center of my purpose, Jesus. See, you are, you are the sign of God. You are the solid rock. See, you are, you are. See the center, the center of my purpose, Jesus. You're the lover, you're the lover of my soul, and I adore you only. It's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. Say it's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. You are, you are miraculous. You are supernatural. You are the center of my focus, Jesus. Sing, you are, you are all powerful. You are so wonderful. You are the center, the center of my focus. You're the lover. You're the lover of my soul, and I adore you only. It's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about. It's all about you, Jesus. What you think it's all about? It's all about you. It's all about you. All about you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm just saying you are miraculous, Amen. Hallelujah. Miraculous, you are supernatural. I think you are. You are. Think the center, the center of my focus, Jesus. I think you are. You are. All powerful, you are so wonderful. You are the center of my focus, Jesus. You're the lover of my soul, and I adore you only. It's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you. Jesus, it's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You Jesus, Amen. Wala ilain pati tunggan kundi liang ato muhi ng Dios, Amen. Church, wala kung asa ka man karon ayaw puki ang imong kaugalingon nga magsaya mo indak sa tumbuhi ng Dios. That's why ang ginoo na gingon, pwede ni mo siyang maamigo, pwede ni mo siyang mahimong papa. Ang ginoo wala ipinalabi Church. That's why daiga ang buhi ng Dios. Hallelujah. Sing I am a friend of God. Yeah, yeah. Since I am a 
friend of God Cause I am a friend of God I am a friend of God He calls me friend Don't you sing I am a friend of God I am a friend of God Sing I am a friend I am a friend of God Cause I am a friend of God I am a friend of God He calls me friend Yes, hallelujah You are mine. You are mine. You are mine. Full of me. That you hear me when I call. It is you. Is it you that you are thinking of me? How you love me. It's amazing. Oh, 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 oh,
Lord. We worship you in this place Cause I am a friend of God Yes Oh thank you Lord You are my God You are my Lord Cause I am a friend of God that you are mine Cause you are God Almighty Yes, Jesus Oh, Jesus We worship you Yes, Lord, we thank you We worship you in this place, God Because you are great You are worthy to be praised Come on, church. Lift up your hands to the Lord and worship Him. Salamati ang buhi ng Dios. Satanan, kay ang kaayo sa mung kita buhi sa ako kita buhi. Concentrate to worship our King. Wait, suns to rise. And bring the earth to life in every being, Jesus, it is you who turns the day to night and wash me as I begin to dream, Jesus, it is you. Sing her praise. Who brings me food from my tables? Who cares for all of my needs? In words, who walks the road with me? Has grown with me through all that I am being. Jesus, it is you. Jesus, it is you. Come on, lift up your hands. So I lift my hands. So I lift my hands. I bring my soul. All of my days. I offer my life. I offer my love here and beyond. Here and beyond. To the one thing to my Jesus. Oh Jesus, who says, who says my brokenness and carries me when I feel too weak? Jesus, it is you who tells the storm to rest when I am overwhelmed. Can I speak? Sing Jesus. Jesus, it is you. Sing away. Who is my guest on your shoulder? Who holds? Who holds my heart in his hand? Who takes, who takes my thought and fear and has them on the arm? Covering Jesus, Jesus, it is you. Jesus, it is you. Come on, church.
problema o kabalaka ipataas ng imong kamot sa pagdaig, pagsimba sa atong buhi ng Diyos kung naman kay pagduha-duha ayaw pagduha-duha sa pagdaig ayaw pagduha-duha sa pagsimba sa atong buhi ng Diyos come on church, see lift up your hands just I lift my hands come on church, worship Him Bring my soul Sing all of my days All of my days Sing all of my rights All of my rights Sing all of my rights All of my rights Don't you sing I open my life I open my life
you and I long to bring my life and offering take me higher draw me deeper I give all to be with you Yes, hallelujah, sing Savior of my soul Savior of my soul I confide in you through all my darkness Oh man my peace My comfort when I'm weak I trust in you the storm and rage and sea sing faithful faithful you're my God you're the Nubian the lifter of my hand your light light and fills my days it leads me in your ways forever I surrender all to you and I need to worship you sing my Jesus my Jesus you're the only one for me nothing will ever take your place my precious Savior Stand between my Lord and me, Lord, I please you, honor you, yes, Lord, and I long to bring the life and offering, take me higher, draw me deeper. Be with you, and I live, and I live to worship you. Jesus, you're the only one for me. Nothing will ever take your place, my precious Savior. Who can stand? My Lord and me, Lord I live, Lord I live to honor you, yes Jesus, and I long to bring my life in offering, take me higher, higher, draw me deeper. church yes, hallelujah nothing will never take your place my precious savior who can stand between my lord and me lord i live to all church and I long to bring my life and offering take me higher draw me deeper
Yes, Lord. Sit in my feet in your ways, entering into your presence to behold your face to face. God of all, God of all heaven and earth, sing holy me. In your embrace, I'm feeling love that surrounds me. Oh, God, I stand in amaze. My Jesus, my Lord, you're the love of my life. Wherever you go. Wanna be by your side? No longer I, but Christ living in me, serving you for all eternity. My eyes set on you in this race that I run. No longer my ways. Let your will be done. Make me a servant, my heart ever true. Clinging to the cross, I follow you. I follow you. Oh, Jesus. Come on, church. Standing, standing in awe of Your grace, setting my feet, setting my feet on Your way, sing entering into, entering into Your presence, sing to behold, to behold You face. Chasing God, God of all heaven, oh, worship you, holding me in your grace. Sing unfailing love, cause unfailing love that surrounds me. Oh, oh God, I stand in amaze. My Jesus, my Lord, you're the love of my life. Make me one of me by your side. Yes, no longer I, but Christ living in me. Serving here for all eternity. My eyes are on you in this race that I run. No longer my way, let your will be done. No longer my heart ever true. Bring it to the cross. I followed. Don't you see my Jesus? My Jesus, my Lord, you're the love of my life. No my ways, let no longer I, but Christ living in me, serving here for all eternity. My eyes set on you in this race that I run. In my way, let your will be done. Make me a servant, my heart ever true. Clinging to the cross, I follow you. I follow you. I follow you, my Lord. Oh, I follow.
Jesus, my Lord, you're the love of my Come on, church. Lift up your hands. Wherever I go, want to be by yes. your side. No longer I. Na living in me. Yes, Lord, we worship Serving you. Serving you for all I said on you in this race that I run. Yes, Jesus. No longer my ways. Let your word make me a servant. My heart is on yours. Clinging to the cross, I follow you. See one more time, sing my Jesus. Yes, my Lord, yes, Lord. you're the love of my life. Yes, Lord, wherever you go, yes, Jesus, be by your side. No longer I, but Christ living in me, serving you for all eternity. My eyes set on you. No longer my ways, let your will be done. Make me a servant, my heart ever true. Clinging to the cross, I follow you. I follow you. I follow you, yes, Jesus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, I got moving at yours. Sing for how moving at yours, yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, oh, oh. I follow you. Kindness, oh God. Lord, kabaluka, Lord God. Ugdayag ni mo ang tanan sa mga kasing-kasing nga niya karun, Lord. Lord, Ikaw, ang Diyos na nasayod sa tanan. At doon na may problema, at doon na may mga kabalaka, Lord, nagingon ka, Lord God. Nyaduol ka mong tanan na nakapuyan, kidilibog at ang imong yugo, Lord. That's why, Lord, this morning, salamat sa word, O God. Ikaw ang mahimaya, nining tanan. We honor you. Huwag ang tanan magkaingon. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning, mga highly favored yung mga anak sa Gino. I am so uh, greatly privileged to share with you the Word of God for our NCIC Sunday service this morning. 
Kay pulihan namin ni Pastor Arman sa inaning slot, just like we are sa church every Saturday. So, before we begin, magsugod sa atas atong church decoration, okay? All together now. Today, I receive all that Christ died to give me. His abundant life, limitless grace, boundless mercies, divine restoration of youth, and overflowing provisions. Today, I take hold of all God's blessings, healings, and miracles. I shall be transformed from glory to ever-increasing glory and victory to overwhelming victory. I will enter the promised land of the believer's rest, seeing his mighty restoration in each and every area of my life. I proclaim that I am God's beloved, his highly favored child, his powerful servant, and his overcoming champion. And because I am blessed to overflowing, I will be a blessing to all. In Jesus' name, praise the Lord. Amen. Salamat kaayo for this wonderful declaration, Lord. We believe, Lord, every single word, word will become true in our life. Ang title sa itong mensahe this morning is The Power of Jesus' Name for Believers Under Grace. The Power of Jesus' Name for Believers Under Grace. Sa itong opening reading will be taken from Acts chapter 19, verse 11 to 20, sa the Passion Translation. God kept releasing a flow of extraordinary miracles to the hands of Paul. Because of this, people took Paul's handkerchiefs and articles of clothing, even pieces of cloth that had touched his skin, laying them on the bodies of the sick, and diseases and demons left them, and they were healed. Verse 13 and 14, Now there were seven different, seven itinerant Jewish exorcists, sons of Siva, the high priest, let's go to the next verse, who took it upon themselves to use the name and authority of Jesus over those who were demonized. They would say, we cast you out in the name of Jesus that Paul preaches. One day when they said these words, the demon and the man replied, I know about Jesus and I recognize Paul. But who do you think you are? Verse 16, that a demonized man jumped on them and threw them to the ground, beating them mercilessly. He overpowered the seven exorcists until they all ran out of the house naked and badly bruised. So this is our first reading for this morning. This is the opening word that we have read for you. Let's first go into our opening prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this wonderful morning. We thank you, Lord, for the blessed lives of the hearers, Lord, of your word, Lord. Thank you, Lord, this morning, O oh God, you will speak to them directly, O oh God. Thank you, Lord, for using your servant, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for anointing your message, O oh God. Thank you, Lord, for speaking to their situations, Lord, Lord, knowing, Lord, that there is nothing impossible for you, that you can do mighty works, Lord, especially through the name and the authority that you have given believers this day. We thank you, Lord, that as they listen to the word, they will be blessed, O oh God. And they will come out victorious of whatever challenges they are facing. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. The people of God say, Amen. Praise the Lord. So, nice story diha. Katawanan kayo diri sa Acts chapter 19. Nga naadaw si Siva, ang Jewish high priest, o ihang pito ka anak, nagatry mag-cast away yung demons. Since nakita manila nga si Paul is very effective sa, cast away, sa casting away of evil spirits, so, gisulayan po nila. Ano sila nga? Testingan ka na ito pangalan ni Jesus, no? O pangalan ni Paul. Basing mahadlok pa ni mga evil spirits. So, nakakita sila kung sa demon possessed nga lalaki. Ilang giingnan nga, In the name of Jesus whom Paul preached, we cast you away. Kunya, ang sulti sa demon nyo sila, kaila ko ni Jesus, kaila ko ni Paul, pero kinsa man yung taon mo. So, giambaka niya itong seven sons of Siva, Gibuan niya, gikulata pag yun niya until nagdagan-dagan sila from that house where the demon-possessed man was. Tanawang po nato, fast forward, magbalik po in time sa katantayong nga naapa si Jesus. Sa so Luke chapter 10, verse 9 to 21, Jesus sent out 70 disciples to be missionaries. I'm also reading from the Passion Translation. Ingun si Jesus ay ang 70 disciples, then heal the sick and tell them all, God's kingdom realm has arrived and is now within your reach. But when you enter a city and they do not receive you, say to them publicly, we wipe from our feet the very dust of your streets as a testimony before you. Understand this, God's kingdom realm came within your reach, and yet you have rejected God's invitation. 
Like we have said many times before, ang kingdom sa Ginoo, this is what Jesus came to bring us. He came to restore dominion unto man. Katunawala ni Adam sa garden. And restore it, Lord, even stronger, even better than before. Okay, every time mag-restore ang Ginoo, always, always better gina than before. Kunya, is always preaching a kingdom. Jesus never died to give us religion. He's talking us, to us about the kingdom realm. Ang kingdom realm nga kini, mo ay gidala ni Jesus pag abot niya diri sa kalibutan. Unya, gihatag niya ng kingdom realm sa tua para no, ang kingdom realm nga kini mag-spread throughout the earth. Mo nang ibasa na to last week sa Matthew na nakabutang dito, the kingdom of God or the kingdom of heaven is like Yeast ba nga spread through the entire dough? And it's also like a mustard tree nga nagadako, nagadako until birds can take shelter in their branches. So verse 17, padayan ta sa atong reading, there is a Luke 10. Ang patang the 70 missionaries returned to Jesus. They were ecstatic with joy, telling Him, Lord, even the demons obeyed us when we commanded them in your name. Lipay kay sila nga, Lord, grabe kayo ang power ng gihatag ni sa mga. Pagsuti na mo sa mong pangalan, Lord Jesus, na nga hadlok ang mga demonic spirits, ang mga evil spirits, ng hawa dayon. What's the difference between these 70 missionary disciples and the seven sons of Siva ang gibasa na to sa Acts chapter 19? Okay? The difference is nasa next verse. Padaya na to. So verse 19, nakabutang diya, ingon si Jesus dere. Now you understand that I have imparted to you all my authority to trample over his kingdom, the kingdom of Satan, the kingdom of the enemy. You will trample upon every demon before you and overcome every power, which in other translations says scorpions and snakes, Satan possesses. Absolutely nothing will be able to harm you as you walk in this authority. However, your real source of joy isn't merely that the spirits submit to your authority, but that your names are written in the journals of heaven and you belong to God's kingdom. This is the true source of your authority. Claro, Jesus has given us his authority and we are now members of the kingdom of God, the powerful, strong, incredible kingdom of God. That's why because of the name of Jesus Christ, many doors will be opened to us. Because of the name of Jesus, daghan mga opportunity mo open sa tua. Because of the name of Jesus, daghan mga mga unsa resources nga ma open sa tua. Because of the name of Jesus, daghan milagro nga ma open sa tua. Because of the name of Jesus, daghan kadaogan makuha nato. Because amahan nato siya. Kato mga seven sons of Eva, Siva dili man sila anak sa Dios because dili man sila nagatuo kay Jesus. Nagagaya-gaya laman sila kay Paul. Also pod nalinga po ko because this is already my topic dugay na pero dili gyud mapugngan nila Brian Simmons kato main translator sa the Passion Translation dili man lang siya ang only translator daghan man mga respected editors and scholars pod nga nagtranslate sa the Passion Translation this is a one man project ha this is a project of many translators and authors but he is the chief translator wa gyud niya napugngan nga magbutang og footnote sa iyang uh, uh, translation. There is a young, so verse 16, sa Acts 19, nagbutang siya, there is, when the demonized man jumped on them, beating them to the ground, beating them on the ground mercilessly, na footnote niya ang letter A. Unya, nalingaw lang ko because the same thing that I wanted to teach you, naapod sa the Passion Translation, gibutang po niya sa footnote, hindi ganyan yung pugna niya sa sarili, kailangan ganyan explain. Ayang gibutang din sa footnote is, true authority comes from relationship with Jesus Christ. Not just using formulas and techniques. Evil spirits know about the depth of our relationship with God. So, dili pwede ang mga people nga mag, ano lang, mag, mag apply o biblical principles without a relationship with God. It will not work. Dili pwede mag, ang people mag bisankinsa lang mugamit sa pulong sa ginoo without a relationship with God. It will not work. The strength of the word of God, the strength of His name, the authority ng gihatang niya. Sa to, uh, to declare and then to make it happen parehas atong church declaration na ginabuhat na to week after week twice a week is ano comes from our relationship with God nga ano man ta maging 
uh, champions. So, ano man ta na overwhelming victory. Why will we be blessed to be a blessing? It's not because of what we say only. It's because we are children of the King. Because we have a relationship. We have a restored relationship unto God because of what Jesus has done for us on the cross. And that's the source of the power. The source of the power comes from our relationship with Jesus. Just like sa nakabutang dere sa footnote. And many, many doors will be open to us. We have power over sickness because of our relationship to Jesus. The world right now is suffering from a COVID-19 pandemic. Right now, ang pinakasikat na salmo sa tibuok kalibutan is Psalm 91. Pero, people cannot just use Psalm 91 and declare it and expect things and expect protection sa ilang kinabuhi without the right relationship with God. So, the power of Psalm 91 is comes from relationship with the Lord. It does not come from just reciting it, memorizing it, declaring it, Oh Lord, ha, ako, nakasultin ako karong adlawa. I have memorized it and I have spoken it this day. So I have the protection. All the promises of God are for us, the children of God, because we have a right relationship with Jesus. We have a right relationship with the Father based on the finished work of Jesus because of His blood that has cleansed us from every sin. And we declare that on every communion. Kay ang remember, ang gisulti ba ni Jesus sa ato ang story sa Luke 10 is ingon siya sa mga disciples nga nag-cast away sa mga evil spirits in His name. Ingon siya nga, go from house to house and tell them that the kingdom is here. Tapos katong sa mga wala nag-receive sa kingdom, then dilipod sila makadawat sa atong kingdom. Wala niya gireceive ang atong invitation. Kaya ang kingdom sa Diyos, dili lang dito sa langit. Gine-extend niya dari sa kalibutan through His people, through you and me, through representatives of the kingdom, we are supposed to be taking territory on this earth for the kingdom of God. Mabita na kapatid sa Joshua, sa book of Joshua nga, everywhere you step, you are taking territory for the Lord. So, maging imuha, it's because kita mismo, kita ang nagdala sa kingdom. And when wherever we walk, that's where the kingdom is. Wherever we live, that's where the kingdom is. Wherever we go to church, that's where the kingdom of God congregates. So, mona sa Matthew 11 verse 12, nakabotang na sa the Passion Translation, from the moment John, the baptizer ni siya, stepped onto the scene until now, the realm of heaven's kingdom is bursting forth and passionate people have taken hold of its power. Now, kung tanawo ninyo na, diha, sa mga laing translations, dili in ana ang ilang pagka-translate. Pero I am convinced na tama ang translation sa The Passion Translation and then napagin siya footnote diha sa letter A. Ingon siya, this is a very clear, which I am also agreeing with, it's a very clear, because he's an expert in Hebrew, very clear na connection to Micah chapter 2 about God's people bursting forth and going out from the power of the enemy. So we don't have the time to take that up right now. Pero ang Ang thing is, the kingdom of heaven is bursting forth on this earth. And it's only for the passionate people of God to take hold of it. Kaya translation, it seems like violent people are attacking the kingdom of God. But that's not the right translation. It does not make sense at all. Pero guapo din sa the passion translation, he gets it right. They get it right. Because nakabutang diha that the kingdom of God is attacking. The kingdom of God is bursting forth. And para na sa ang mga Christians, Para na sa ito, mga Christians nga passionate ka, yung nga, Yes, Lord, I am I believe in your word. I believe in your finished word. Kaya mga passionate people like you, like me, under grace, kita ang makadawat, kita ang makatake hold sa power of the kingdom of God na gihatag ni Jesus balik sa ito. The kingdom of God that Jesus has given unto us. Muna, ngun siya, the kingdom of God is in you. Muna, it's, it's with you and it's with me. Ang ngumbitaw siya sa Matthew 16 verse 18, On this rock, the rock na gideclare ni Peter, katong declaration ni Peter, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Ang picture diha, kay kining picture diri ba nga, tangkidigira bitaw nga, boom, kanang murag na ay pader nga dako, unya, lusot lang tangkidigira, kay murag wala lang, kita ang attacking. Because we are the kingdom of God, 
taking away from the kingdom of Satan. We are the kingdom of light, taking away from people from the kingdom of darkness and rescuing them from the tyrannical rule of Satan, from the oppression of the enemy. Whenever we spread to them the gospel, they become part of the victorious kingdom of God and Satan loses his power over them. And that is what God is, Jesus is telling Peter here. This rock is where I build my church. And this church will be advancing. This church is strong. This church is like it is like a tank. And then wherever it goes, bisan unsa mga barricades, ipang throw ni Satan sa imuha, dili gihapon niya must stop. You will still burst forth because you are stronger than Satan because of the power of my name and because of the authority that I have given. To you, wala ginasulti ni Lord. Wala ingon si Jesus sa Matthew 16 verse 19 sa The Passion Translation, I will give you the keys of heaven's kingdom realm to forbid on earth that which is forbidden in heaven and to release on earth that which is released in heaven. Again, wonderful translation. Why? Daghan na kayo kugwali na dungga ni Ani. Kaya kung uban magud nga translation, batang dito, to bind on earth what is bound in heaven, to loose on earth what is loose in heaven. Pero ang mga Bible scholars, they have studied this. That's why it's good to look at many translations because no single English translation is good enough. And the more that Bible scholars and Bible uh, Bible scholars and Bible teachers study a verse in light of all the revelations that the Lord has already given na ay mga things, ng mga bagong insights. And then ingon sila, daga na kayo nadungga ni Ani sa mga Bible preachers. Ngayon sila, it's not actually whatsoever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatsoever you lose on earth is loose in heaven. It's actually you whatsoever you bind here, you can forbid on earth what is already forbidden in heaven. And you can release here on earth what is already released in heaven? That's part of the kingdom authority that Jesus gave unto his church. Remember, nagisulti ni Jesus a previous verse that I shall build my church and the gates of hell shall not be pre- able to prevail against it. So it's always about the power, the kingdom authority that Jesus has given to his church. When you ingon siya nga, dili ni mo. Pwede niyo pugnan din sa kalibutan kung sa'y napugnan na sa langit. Ana ang literal yun nga translation, ana. Ang way nga pag-correctly, pag-interpret niya, ana verse na kina. Pwede po niyo i-release din sa earth kung unsa na'y nakarelease dito sa langit. So may buti pa sa buta, ana. Remember, ang atong prayer that God's kingdom come to earth, your kingdom come, which is gisend niya through Jesus and then now kita'y nagdala, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Now, kag- Tanaw ni mong langit, the will of God is totally happening 100% in sa langit. The will of God is not happening 100% here on earth. Otherwise, katong prayer ni Jesus nga your will be done on earth as it is in heaven will be a useless prayer. So it's not. Many people are still dying without knowing God. And the word of God says that God is not willing that any should perish but that all should come to repentance. But not all are coming to repentance. So definitely, or here on this earth, the will of God is not happening all the time. But the will of God is happening 100% in heaven. So one thing, Jesus pray that God's will be done on earth just as it is in heaven. So nga nung i-forbid man na ito kung say forbidden in heaven. Kung say wala sa langit, walay sakit sa langit. Walay kapubrihan sa langit. Walay demonyo sa langit. Walay problema sa langit. Kana ang pwede ni i-forbid diri sa earth as a representative of the kingdom of God. If you see the enemy doing these illegal things, you can tell the enemy, stop in the mighty name of Jesus. We bind you, Satan. You have no authority to do that. And then that is the thing that you can bind here on earth. Katong mga things nga wala dito sa langit. And you can release on earth that which is released in heaven. Unsa may naa sa langit, na divine health, na divine provision dito sa langit, na ay kanang victory over circumstances, na ay kanang kapahulayan dito sa langit, na ay joy, na ay love, na ay peace. Mo na ang pwede na to i-release diri sa kalibutan. Mo na because these are the kingdom, these are the these are the things that you can release and which you can bind. Dili ka pwede mag-release og sakit. Dili ka pwede mo suti. In the name of Jesus, mo release kog sakit ani tawhanan kini. Dili pwede. Kay according to this authority, you can only release that which is already released in heaven. So kung wala may sakit sa heaven, wala may kamatayan sa heaven, you cannot also release that here on earth. Ang atong SPA, kumbaga, kining authority ng gihatag ni Jesus sa toa, special power of attorney na niya sa toa. 
unya you cannot exceed that special power of attorney kung unsa tong gisulti ni Jesus nga pwede ra nimo exercise kuto bra ka diha so mo na siya ang buti pasabot ani verse kini you can forbid on earth that which is forbidden in heaven and you can release on earth that which is released already in heaven you cannot release sickness because there is no sickness in heaven okay you cannot forbid also healing because healing has been released is for is uh, you cannot also forbid on earth well you cannot also forbid healing because there is already good health and divine health in heaven so you see you see mo na buti pasabot anang bersikulo nga kana in case you have been wondering kaya ang goal man gid yun ni Jesus sa word of god is total world domination so 1 Corinthians 15:25 nakabutang dere to 26 for Christ must reign as king until he has put all his enemies under his feet and the last enemy to be abolished and put to an end is death so kailangan di ay, Jesus is already reigning as king amen Yes, he is. But, wala pa din nag-submit ang tanan niya mga kalaban sa iya. There are still demonic spirits on this earth. Jesus has already won the victory. Pero napay mga nabilin ba? Mura sila si Hiro o Onoda katong take up na to last time katong Japanese nga humana ang gira pero sige gihapon siya nakipag-away kay wala pa siya, ka, di siya mutuo nga humana ang gira. Mura ginana ba? Ang mga enemies na to, poverty, sickness, disease, problems, may nana, those things, they have not yet submitted to Jesus. Kini mga demonic spirits dari sa earth, kana na nag-cause o kana mga crime, mga rape, mga killing, mga genocide, mga idolatry, mga religious spirits, na apagihapon na dari sa kalibutan. And Jesus wants to put all of them under His feet. Kinsa may magbutang sa ilaha under His feet, eh, kita, as a kingdom of God, we're supposed to we're supposed to use the name of Jesus and we're supposed to say, submit to the authority that is given to me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now, kung mga tanong mo sa kwa, unsang pangalan ni Jesus ang gihatag niya sa atua? Is it Yeshua or is it Jesus Christ? Any translation will do. Whether you pray sa ngalan ni Jesus Christo, sa ngalan ni Jesus, sa ngalan ni Jesus Christ, sa ngalan ni Yeshua HaMashiach, which is, which is the Hebrew for Jesus, uh, the Messiah, or Jesus Christ, Gihapon in the Hebrew, all of those names are recognized by heaven. How do I know? Because millions of people have already received their miracles by the name of Jesus Christ, which is the English translation of Jesus Christ. Even sa Greek, gani, sa Greek Bible, sa Greek New Testament, Jesus is referred to there as the Greek Jesus, not as Yeshua, Hamashiach. And still, people still are saved. Millions are still saved. People are still receiving their miracles from the Lord under the different translated names of Jesus. Ingon mga gudang mga na mga smart ng mga Christians karon. They think that they're so smart, banga. Ingon sila nga dili kailangan kita mo balik sa original name ni Jesus. Dapat Yeshua gud. Kaya dili man niya tinod ng pangalan ng Jesus. Dili man niya tinod ng pangalan ng Jesus nga gigamit nila Paul diha sa ug sa mga gospel writers sa, sa original Greek dili wala problema ang Ginoo sa translation because kasabot siya every time ka mo banggit sa pangalan ni Jesus whenever a child of the kingdom whenever a child of the kingdom declares the name of Jesus the enemy knows kung kinsa ang atong buti pasabot regardless of whatever language kay kung dili pa na tinuod then we all must learn Hebrew and we cannot even quote the Bible anymore. Kaya atong quotation sa Bible is English man. Atong quotation sa Bible is Bisaya man. So dili na po na tama atong quotation sa Bible. Kailangan kita magtuunog Hebrew. And God has made His kingdom available for everyone who believes. Not everyone who has become a Jew or who has studied Hebrew or who has to go back to Balik. Dili inana. Jesus wants His gospel to be available for everyone who believes. And He's making it easy. When you say, Stop it, Satan, in the mighty name of Jesus, Dili magina na mga aghel, mga demonyo, Kinsa ka ng Jesus ngayon, Buti pasabot ka itong Jesus. Hanaman sila, Katong mga nema Christians nga, Yeshua lang ilang ginagamit karong kay, Nada mga Jesus, Nga hardinero. Dili man sila magunawa na ang mga angels, O mga demonic spirits nga, Kinsa yan, Buti pasabot nga Jesus, Katong Jesus nga, Jesus the Messiah? Or, Katong Jesus nga, Jesus nga hardinero. Di man sila mag na. They know. They fear. They tremble. They know who you are referring to. 
Why? Because it does not stem from the exact name. Because like the seven sons of Siva, they mentioned his name properly. Kaya mga Jews man sila, mga Hebrews sila. They had the right pronunciation of the Hebrew name of Jesus. I'm sure they also said Yeshua. Okay, Hebrew man sila. Dili man sila mga Greek. Gitranslate naman ng Jesus later on. Pero pag declare nila, wala maghihapon ng work because wala mga good sa words. Ang power, ang power sa name ni Jesus comes from relationship because anak ta sa buhi ng Diyos. Therefore, that's where the power of Jesus' name comes from. And if you want to be really, if you want to be pure about it, whether you mention the name Jesus or the name Jesus Christ, if you really want to specify Jesus himself, you can just say Jesus Christ. You don't have to go back to original Hebrew just to call on his name. Because Jesus never said, if you call on the name of the Lord in Hebrew, you shall be saved. No, you, if you call on the name of the Lord, no matter what language, because Jesus understands what language you are speaking. The angels understand whatever language you speak, and the demons understand whatever language you speak. In fact, one of the established powers of a- angels and demons is, is I think, um, gloss, uh, is the ability to speak all the known languages. So, kaila, why were ano? Why were the disciples also? Kato mga mga disciples, seventy disciples, successful pod also sa ilang pagkas away of evil spirits. Whereas kato seven sons of Siva were not, because they are believers in the grace of God. They remember kato seven sons of Siva were sons of the high priest. Si Siva is a Jewish high priest. And they were sons of Hebrews, so they were still Jews. They were still practicing Judaism. They were not Christians. They were not believers. They did not receive the Holy Spirit in Acts chapter two. Pero katuga ni mga disciples kaniya sa Luke ten, wala pagani ang Holy Spirit nila na cast away na mga ganin nilang mga evil spirits. Samot nagit karon that believers had the power of the Holy Spirit within them, and demons can see and kanang mga evil spirits can see the Holy Spirit within us. And they cannot oppose us. They cannot go against us. Namang ko tayo na dunggan ako tungo na sa katong dilay pa ko pastor nagungontong nagingontong nagingontong unsa ka Christian sa ko nga ay dilik ko mag unsa kung na ko ikay makitang nga demon possessed dilik ko mag mag cast away siya mo dagan ko kay basig gulatahon palang ko para sa seven sons of Siva dilik na may tabo sa tinuod ng believer because kita mga believers who believe in Jesus Christ, we have that right relationship with the Lord. Especially kita mga nagatuo sa grace ni God. Especially kita nagatuo, nagapreach siya, finish work ni Jesus on the cross. It's very important good that you get the gospel right because these seven sons of Siva, they were just following, nagagaya-gaya lang sila kay Paul, pero they did not have that right relationship with God. They did not believe in the true gospel. Kaya mga Judaism pa man sila, Jewish high priest ang ilang amahan, kunya mga Jewish paghihapon sila, katang ilang mga pagtuois na paghihapon sa Judaism. Pero dili na ma-apply sa to. Sila mga under law pa sila, kaya ang Judaism is so steeped in the law of Moses. Pero kita ang mga new believers right now, we believe in the finished work of Jesus. Jesus in the grace of God. That's why we can use the name of Jesus and be victorious in any circumstance. That's why it's very important that we spread the gospel correctly. We preach the gospel correctly. In fact, nakabotang dali sa 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 23 sa New Living Translation. Ingon si Paul dali, I do everything to spread the good news and share in its blessings. Wow, praise the Lord. Naade ay blessings ang pag-spread sa good news. Kinidin atong ginabuhat sa simbahan that we are preaching the true gospel of grace na adinay blessings. Kamu di ay every time you share ka na mga grace quotes ninyo o ka ng inyo mga whenever you share di ay kini mga mga videos na to nag watch party mo na adinay siya blessings. Na adinay siya rewards. Na adinay siya mga good things mo daw. Ingun pa si Paul there's a 923 I do everything to share the good news. What is that? The gospel of grace. And whenever I share the good news, I also share in the blessings of the good news. So, I have no problem whatsoever promoting atong mga preaching ni Pastor Arman Ogzakwa because I truly believe that this church preaches the good news correctly. We preach the gospel of grace without halo, without mixture, without trying to mix up law and grace, rightly dividing the word of God just like Second Timothy tells us to. 
So padayon sa to reading. Ingon po si Paul, the reason that we have to spread the good news is because we need to find katong mga people na pinili sa Diyos. Do you know ba? They, not everyone yet has, not every single, uh, per, di ba kita mga pinili man sa Diyos? Amen? Okay? Gipili ta long before pata na panganak, long before the universe is created, and we have proven it time and time again, kami ni Pastor Arman sa inyo. So Romans 11 verse 25, nakabutan na dari, God's mercy is for everyone. I want you to understand this mystery, dear brothers and sisters, so that you will not feel proud of yourselves. Some of the people of Israel have hard hearts, but this is only this will only this will last only until the full number of Gentiles comes to Christ. Nade full number of Gentiles. Kita, you and me, we are the Gentile Christians. And according to Romans eleven twenty five. Amang hodeyo karon wala pa nagatuo kay Kristo. Like we have preached last Saturday, na ay salvation po nga ginahulat po nga the Lord also wants to give salvation to the Jews later on. Pero dili pa sila magtuo kay dili pa nila time. Kanus sa sila magtuo after na naluwas ang tanan-tanan ng mga pinili sa Ginoo sa mga hentil. You and me we are Gentiles. Praise the Lord, luwas na ta. Pero dagan pag mga Gentiles diha nga pinili sa Dios nga wala pa nakadungog sa gospel. Wala pa sila kabalo sa good news. Wala pa sila kabalo about the finished work of Jesus. That's why it's very important that we spread this gospel. Because the the Lord wants us to know what uh, Lord wants us to find yung mga pinili niya. And when we find kani pinili when they receive this gospel of grace, it will produce 30, 60 and 100 fold fruits sa ilang kinabuhi. So it's very important that we spread the gospel correctly because ang strength na to as believers, ang power na to as believers, ang authority na to believers comes from God's grace. It doesn't come from the rules. In fact, in under is Hebrews 13 verse 9a it's a New Living Translation, your strength, say it with me, your strength, your strength. comes from God's grace, not from rules. Dili gikan sa mga do this, do that. The gospel is not a list of do's and don'ts. It's not a list of requirements. The gospel is the news that God loves you and He's willing to do everything, even give up His own life just so He can be with you forever. That's the good news. It's news. It's not a list of requirements. It's not a list of laws. Good news. The gospel, which literally means good news, it's news. The news that God loves you so much. And he can't bear to be separated from you. That's the good news. So anyway, padayin ta. How else do we, how else is the power of the kingdom available to us whenever we use the name of Jesus? It comes with humility. Because there is a Luke chapter 10 verse 21. Nakapatang dali. Then Jesus, after ni katong mga istorya niya, itong mga disciples nga, rejoice that your names are written in heaven and you belong to the kingdom. True authority comes from this. Then Jesus, overflowing with the Holy Spirit, with the Holy Spirit's anointing of joy, kabalawa mo na anointing of joy, ang Holy Spirit, exclaim, Father, thank you for you are the Lord supreme over heaven and earth. You have hidden the great revelation of this authority from those who are proud, those wise in their own eyes, and you have shared it with those who have humbled themselves. Yes, Father, this is what pleases your heart. In the very way you've chosen to extend your kingdom to give to those who become like trusting children. The reason na nakasabot ta sa gospel of grace is because we have all humbled ourselves to become like trusting children. A lot of pastors, a lot of preachers do not know the gospel, even Christians. Kining good news nga kini, daghan mga kristuhanon wala pa nakadungog niya ni. A lot of Christians out there, unbelievers especially, but even Christians have not yet heard the good news. Like one grace pastor said, he always preached. The one wala pa siya kasabot sa gospel of grace. Sige lang siya priest of requirements. Sige lang siya preach. You must do this. You must do that to earn God's approval. To make sure of your salvation. Ingon pa siya sa pinakalas, what madness I preached. Pero karon nga kabalo na siya sa gospel of grace. Dilit na ginamosa because the Lord has enlightened him. That's why we need to spread this word. Along with this sacred trust ng gihatang ni Lord sa to spread the gospel of grace, we also need to be able to say what is not the gospel of grace. Para makasabot ang mga tao, para walay maatik ang kalaban, para walay ma, 
walay ma walay maliba niya walay ma ma ano he cannot swindle anyone he cannot lie to anyone and it comes to people who become like trusting children the reason nakasabot na sa gospel grace is because we have trusted the lord many people listen to the gospel grace especially those underline they say that's too good to be true true sobra na po na murabag wala na lang yung requirements pagtuo na lang kay jesus dili dili na di ko na so they don't trust the finish they think it's too good to be true they don't think that god's love is that strong that powerful that is willing to save you and me just by faith in his finished work alone this is the but we we know this because we have become like little children we said yes lord we thank you we are so grateful sa imuhang gibuhat para sa mua. but we need to cast away this this, this kind of mga power of the enemy ba because satan is causing so much trouble in the world is causing earthquakes is causing sickness getting covid-19 disease gikan ni sa iya ha pero nakabutang malagi sa bible pastor yes nakabutang sa bible yes na prophesy na na just because the lord knows what satan has is doing or is about to do or will do in the future doesn't mean nga si lord ang nag-cause ni ana now kini mga earthquakes karon kini mga disasters economic difficulties daghan na kay mga sakit-sakit karon kining covid-19 pandemic na na pukoy na dunggan nga bubonic plague nang gawa somewhere else na na pukoy ka ng swine flu bisan unsa na lang a flu 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 anyway ana ba kanang mga sakit-sakit kana this these are already prophesied in the bible according to jesus in matthew 24 these are the signs nga hapit na siya magbalik now these things can never dili na siya pwede wala on because nakabutang naman sa biblia it has already been set and like Jesus' death, it's already set in stone. So, those things must happen. But where can we exercise authority? We can exercise authority in the shortening of these periods. We cannot stop COVID-19 from happening because it's prophesied in Matthew 24, getting various diseases in many places, like we have taken up before in so the Living Bible. But we can use our God-given authority to shorten that period. So keep on praying, church. Keep on using your God-given authority. Keep on binding Satan. Because the Word of God says that Satan must be bound so that we can take away from his kingdom. Mark, Mark 3 verse 27 sa so the Living Bible, nakapatay, Satan must be bound before his demons are cast out. Just as a strong man must be tied up before his house can be ransacked and his property robbed. So si Satan is still causing a lot of trouble there is Kalibon. Some day ilabay siya into the lake of fire. Sa Revelation chapter 20 after niya mag-cause og kanang great nga rebellion against kay Jesus when after the battle of Armageddon in Revelation chapter 16 ilabay na si Satanas dito sa lake of fire where he will suffer forever and ever and ever. And pero until that time Jesus must reign and we must take authority from Satan. How do we do it? By binding him. Remember, in si Jesus, I give you the power to bind and loose here on earth. I give you the power to forbid and to allow things here on earth. Use my name. Use the authority that I give you because you are children of the kingdom. You have the power to do this. And one of the things that one of the things that makes the kingdom so powerful in rise the reason we can use the name of jesus with so much efficacy so much power so much um tenang, kanang, kanang authority is because we are not under law but under grace there are two people in the bible nga jesus said nga grabe kayang faith one is in matthew 15 verse 28 kining syrophoenician woman or sa other translation, Samaritan woman, na yung babae nagdool kay Jesus na ngayon healing para sa iyang anak. Yung si Jesus woman, ang karon, sa karon, I have only come to save mga hodeyo. Okay? He did not come until to save, He came to save the entire world, yes. Pero, while He was still here on earth, He was only limited to saving the Jews. That's why ang ministry niya is only limited sa Israel. Pero yung siya, I came to save the Jews Mamatay mang Japan. He came to save the Gentiles Japan, pero after his death on the cross na. So I only came to save the Jews. Dogs cannot eat at the master's table. Pero ingon na babae, yes Lord, pero katong mga puppies, puppies man gud gamit ni Jesus ng words original Hebrew. It's original Greek. 
ang patis mga kaon manggihapon ng mga mga hulog ikan sa lamesa. And then, si Sotin Jesus, then Jesus answered her sa so Matthew 15, 28, Woman, your faith, your personal trust and confidence in my power is great. It will be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was healed from that moment. There are only two people in the Bible ang itawag ni Jesus great faith. Napod sa Matthew 8, verse 10, so the Passion Translation, Jesus was astonished when he heard this and said to those who were following him, He has greater faith than anyone I've encountered in Israel. Kinsa ni, katong Roman centurion. Na magi Roman centurion, nagduha kay Jesus, Lord, I have a very, sir, I have a servant who is very important to me. Ingon siya nga, he is sick right now, please heal him. Ingon si Jesus, okay, let's go to your house. Well, should I come to your house to heal him? Ingon siya, no Lord, no need to go. I am a centurion, I am a Roman officer. And I am, I have a lot of authority. I tell to this person, I tell these soldiers, go and they will go. I tell this person, come and they will come. And Lord, I believe, Lord, that you have the same authority. So I understand, you do not have to come to my house. Just say it, Lord, just say the word and my servant shall be healed. And then he Jesus, wow, I've never seen such great faith, even in whole, the whole of Israel. So, kinsa ni mga duha ang kini? The thing these two people have in common, the Syrophoenician woman, and the Roman centurion is they are both Gentiles like you and me. Grabe ilang faith kay Jesus because they were not burdened by the law. Unlike the seven sons of Siva, nga anak sa high priest, they did not believe nga kailangan pa ni mo magkamang o taas kay ng hagdanan para maabot ni mo ang pabor sa ginoo. They did not believe that you have to offer sacrifices in order to appease an angry God. All that they were not sin conscious all that they were conscious of was Jesus conscious. They were only sun conscious. And like I said before, sun consciousness brings us victory. Sun consciousness gives us breakthrough. But sin consciousness will only cause us failure in the end. Nga naman na mga daghan mga problema din sa kalibutan. Diba? Ingon siya nga. Because, diba? Why did I say na God's will is happening in heaven but it's not happening totally here on earth? Because of Psalm 115, verse 16. This is found actually in all throughout the Bible. There are themes ni Ani. Pero mas klaro sa Psalm 115, verse 16. Sa New International Version ko magbasa. The highest heavens belong to the Lord, but the earth He has given to mankind. Yes, ninyo na? The Lord, uh, heavens belong to the Lord, but the earth He has given to mankind. When did He give earth to mankind? It's the Garden of Eden. When he made man, he said, have dominion over this entire earth. But Adam lost that when he sinned, he gave it all to Satan. In a sense, murag na, ano ba yan, na, na default ug kahatag kay Satan. And therefore, when Jesus had to become a man as well, para makuha niya balik ang dominion, nagikawat ni Satanas kang Adam. So, Jesus came to restore what was lost to man and man lost dominion over the earth. Kaya nga no, na may mga nakabutang malagi pastor nga mga words nga the tanan mga cattle on a thousand hills all belong to the earth. Yes, iha ni tanan. Ang kalibutan ihapod in a sense nga siya ang tag iya. Pero like the parable of the ten minas and the parable of the ten talents gisalig na niya sa toa. Remember sa parable of ten minas and ten talents a master was going away and then ingon siya nga, here, isalig na ako ng kwarta sa inyo. Same po sa kalibutan. Isalig lang po niya ang kalibutan sa ato. Ah. Ingon ba si Jesus, all authority, in sa Rome, Matthew 28, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth and under the earth. Ingon siya, all authority has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations. So, ang authority gihatag sa iya, tanan na win niya, balik tanan ang authority on the cross, and gidelegate niya sa ato. How? Through the power of His name. Ingon siya, whatsoever you ask for in my name, it shall be done for you. Ingon, siya sa, ingon si Paul sa Philippians chapter 2, at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow on earth, under the earth, and above the earth. So, wala agyoy makapildi sa name ni Jesus. If you, as a grace-filled believer, uses the name of Jesus, wala imposible sa imuha and so on. But the Lord has given us the earth. So, therefore, it is man who is supposed to exercise dominion. Dari. Gibalik naman niya ang authority sa ato. Ah. So, yung siya, sige, manage the earth properly. Use the authority that I have given you. Ikaw ang mag-stop sa mga works ni Satan. Ikaw ang mag-bind kay Satan. 
ang church ang magbuhat ang kalibutan as best as it can. We are in a war actually, a spiritual war. Jesus has won the victory, pero napay mga rebelde, napay mga people na kailangan iput under His feet. And that is our job as a church. We're supposed to stop the works of Satan through our prayers, through the name of Jesus Christ. Through the authority that He has given us, we're supposed to go into all the world, make disciples of all nations, take people from the kingdom of darkness, put them into the kingdom of God's light, put them into the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of God, where Satan has no power over them, free them from sin and the uh, oppression of the law, and then tell them the true gospel that God really loves them. That is our job. And the reason that Satan is so, kanang the reason nga, Kanang abusado kay si Satanas is because Christians are letting him do it. We are not exercising our authority. Pila lang ba sa mga Kristohanon ang kabalo nga naatay na ning authority? Gamay lang. Pila lang ba sa mga Kristohanon ang mga under grace? The reason that Davao City is so blessed is because of the Christians under grace. There is should that be okay. Don't you know? Don't you believe that? It's not because of a certain appointed son of God here. It's because many Christians here in Davao City are believers in the grace and in the finished work of Jesus. Mo nang dilita ginabagyo diri. Maglinog man pero wala kay damage. Wala yung mga mga matay nga daghan kaayo para sa atong ubang mga other places sa Pilipinas and other places around the world. We are so highly favored diri sa Davao. It's because of the Christians that are here. It's because we are carriers of the kingdom. And daghan ta diri sa Davao. And the Lord wants you to know ba nga Gamay lang good sa to because Christians are so ano many of the evangelical denominations do not believe that God has given this authority and this power. They believe kanang binding and losing nato kanang claiming nato. They believe that is emotionalism. They believe it is too much. They believe nga ano ra kanang uh, yes i bless ta sa Ginoo, i heal ta sa Ginoo. Pagabot na nato sa langit. Kailan pa man mag healing sa langit kung may sakit sa langit? Yes, ipasper ta sa Ginoo, pagabot nato sa langit. Christians are so futuristic right now. Satan is deceiving people. He's not letting you know there is power in the kingdom of God. Ingon pa sa word of God that one of the doctrines of Satan, one of the doctrines of demons is having a form of godlessness, uh, God, having a form of godliness but denying its power. Never deny that power that you have that the Lord has died and has one on the cross for you and me. Never deny that He has given us authority in His kingdom. Never deny that we are the advancing church and we're supposed to take hold of His power by passionate people, by people who believe, Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord. Nagatuog yung ko, Lord, nga naagyo kay power, naagyo kay gihatag sa mga authority, and we can stand against the enemy. We can declare, we can bind Satan, we can bind his minions, we can bind his uh, evil spirits. And they will obey because, Lord, we have right standing with you. We are righteous by faith and not by works. Mula si Jesus in Luke chapter 4, verse 18 to 19, ingon siya dere. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, the Messiah, because He has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor. Dilan siya poor lang, a poor in money, but poor in all kinds of ways, even spiritually. He has sent me to announce release. Pardon, forgiveness to the captives. Kaya itong una people were trapped under the guilt and condemnation. And recovery of sight to the blind. Kaya itong mga people nga wala kasabot sa grace. To set free those who are oppressed by Satan. Downtrodden, bruised, crushed by tragedy. To proclaim the favorable year of the Lord. The day when the salvation and the favor of God abound greatly. Praise the Lord. Many na karun. Ever since he declared unto Jesus, 2020 is 2020, Anno Domini, literally meaning the year of the Lord in the Gregorian calendar. Ever since about ni Jesus, it became to be called AD, which means Anno Domini, the year of our Lord. And it's not just the year of our Lord. It is 2020, the year of the Lord's favor. And it's still counting. Until mabalik si Jesus, we are living in the period of God's grace. We are living under the period of the church age. We are living under the power and the authority of uh, the power of the Holy Spirit and under the authority of the kingdom that He has given us. And right now, so much power is available to the church. 
So much salvation, salvation, total salvation is that. It's not just spiritual salvation. It's salvation in your finances, salvation in your situation, salvation in your family. Where the favor of God abound greatly. It's about the favor of God. That's His grace. They abound for us so much. We have grace for our every circumstance. Grace to fa- face our troubles. Grace to provide for every need. Grace so that we can meet every challenge in life. Brother, you and sister, brother and sisters, you and me have so much power, have so much authority from the Lord. Use what God has given you. So, kinisha ang kaniginasulti ni Lord sa toang. If you are a believer under grace, if you understand the gospel, if we humble ourselves, because the law is for the proud, they think that they have, they think that they are blessed because of what they do, but by by believing that their faith is no longer in Jesus, their faith is in their works. Their faith is in their doing. And therefore, that's not real faith because God only counts real faith. Kato na katuo lang yun. Kay Jesus alone. His work alone. His finished work alone. His blood alone. Amen. Amen. So, kana ba? But if you and me use the authority, if we believe in grace, if we preach the correct gospel, if we spread this true gospel around, if we believe in His finished work, and because of our right relationship with God, whenever we call on the name of Jesus, whenever we speak His name, no matter what language it is, it is powerful and we can stop the works of the enemy in this world. We can do it. As long as we pray, as long as we continue to believe, we can exercise our authority as kings and priests in the kingdom of God, as children of the Most High God. As people whom Jesus has given His power and authority by His name. Ang name ni Jesus is very powerful because it carries His entire identity. It carries His entire power. It carries His entire authority. Kaya nga no, magmasulti manggod mo, in the Bible times manggod, ang name sa tao is the same as the person himself. What do I mean? For example, magsulti ang Bible, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Dili mo magsulti si Lord nga, ay akwara din pangalan ng bless dili de ako dili de daigon ang pangalan sa Ginoo oh daigon ang ngalan sa Dios ang daigon lang de ako ngalan lang de dili de ako dili the reason nga inana ang wording sa Bible it's because ang pangalan sa Dios o gag Dios usara so whenever you use the name of Jesus that carries his, all his power that carries all his authority that carries all his um kanang ano kanang authority over the enemy that carries his entire identity. It's strong enough as if Jesus himself were rebuking the enemy before you. When you use the name of Jesus, you can say no to poverty. You can bind Satan's attack on your health and on your family. You can bind Satan's attack on this earth. You can stop crime. You can stop poverty. And that's not only limited sa tong prayers, but even in the way the church asks. Right now, the world is in great um, uh, difficulty Nagadulom ang kalibutan. Things are getting darker and darker. But that's only so that the church will get brighter and brighter because it's only in great darkness that the light that the Lord has given us will be shine brighter and brighter. You are the light of the world. Nobody puts a lamp under a cover. It's there so that it can shine brightly. And the reason that the Lord has allowed these things, has predicted this in His prophecy, is so that the church will shine stronger and stronger. Dito sa Acts 19, ang pinakalas dito, nakabutang dito nga, ang effects sa nahitabo sa Sons of Siva is that the church and the Word of God had more impact upon all the people. The Lord wants His church to have a powerful impact on this day and age. Not only in our prayers, but in everything that we do, in everything that we represent, in our words, in our actions, in the people that we help. Mona ang will ni Lord sa toa. So church, don't forget Jesus died not only to save you, but He died to restore His authority on you, the authority that Adam lost, to restore much more the authority than Adam lost. Power over the enemy, power over all of His um, evil spirits, power over poverty, sickness, and disease. We have that right now. Just speak up the name of Jesus. Say it in faith and trust in His finished work that His name is enough. His name is powerful in your behalf. And nothing shall be impossible for you. There is no door that the name of Jesus cannot open. There is no opportunity that the name of Jesus cannot burst 
uh, cannot bring into your life. There is no health, there is no sickness na dili makaya sa pangalan ni Jesus. There is no problem na dili makaya sa name ni Jesus. Amen? Amen? So let's pray. But if you are a person, you don't know yet what I'm talking about, wala pa ka receive as Jesus as Lord and Savior sa mong kinaboy, come pray this prayer with us right now. Lord Jesus, thank you for loving me and dying for me on the cross. Just say this with me right now. Your precious blood washes me clean of every sin. You are my Lord and Savior now and forever. I believe you rose from the dead and that you are alive today. Because of your finished work, I am now a beloved child of God and heaven is my home. Thank you for giving me eternal life and filling my heart with your peace and joy. Amen. This is very important because one of the priorities of the Lord is to reach out until the full number of Gentiles are saved, until the full number of Gentiles can hear, until tanan mga pinili sa Diyos, tanan mga, mga people nga, nga, nga ihang gipili dito long before the universe began, wala pa tanan panganak, will become saved. And that is one of the missions that He has given His church. So let's pray our closing prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Thank you so much, Lord, for this word that you have spoken to your people, Lord. Lord, let this word take root in their hearts, Lord, and let it produce, Lord, a harvest 30, 60, 100 fold. Salamat, Lord Jesus, for the power and the authority of your name. As believers, Lord, under grace, Lord, as members of your kingdom, having our names written in your book in heaven, Lord, showing, Lord, that we are members of the kingdom, that we have real authority under you, Lord Jesus. We speak right now, Lord, our authority, Lord. We bind this COVID-19 disease, Lord, in the world in the mighty name of Jesus. We release healing unto every sick person, Lord. We release healing, Lord. We thwart this disease in the mighty name of Jesus, especially over Davao region. COVID-19, you have no more power over the Philippines in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You have no more power over the space. We forbid you, COVID-19, especially here in Davao region. We speak this as children of the living God. We speak this as members and representatives and ambassadors for His kingdom. Satan, we forbid you. You cannot cause this disease to spread further in the Philippines and especially here in Davao City. Lord, we release your blessings, Lord, upon our president, upon our mayor, O God, upon our members, Lord. Salamat, Lord Jesus, everyone listening to this right now, Lord Jesus. We release it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for blessing our members Lord, of New Covenant in Christ Church. Thank you, Lord, for blessing, Lord God, Pastor Arman and Sister Gina, Lord, and their children, O oh God. Salamat, Lord Jesus. Tanan blessings, wisdom, Lord, success, Lord, divine favor, prosperity. Hatag nyo sila, even sa kada miembro, Lord, sa New Covenant in Christ Church. Even, Lord, sa tanan ng mga friends, Lord God, and guests, Lord, na nagapaminaw ni Aning, uh, service na makaroon, Lord. Salamat, Lord. We release this blessing, Lord, through this screen, oh God. Wala imposible sa Lord. We release it in the mighty name of Jesus. We release prosperity, Lord. We release divine health. We release your healing, Lord God. We release your restoration, or your sevenfold restoration upon everyone listening to this program, Lord. We release, oh God, your great victory, Lord. We release your great power, your wisdom, Lord God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Nga even, Lord, imo mighty overflowing provisions, Lord. Open heaven blessings, Lord. I release na mo, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Salamat, Lord Jesus, for blessing every single one of us in Jesus' name. Let's pray. let's continue with our uh, our communion. On the night you were betrayed, Lord Jesus, you lifted the bread, gave thanks, and said, "This is my body, which is given up for you. Do this in remembrance of me." Lord Jesus, in the Lord, First Corinthians 11, Lord, that as long as we discern your body, we are partaking worthily. And when we partake worthily, Lord God, it's not us that is unworthy, O God, because you have already washed us clean from every sin. Whenever we discern your body, Lord, we, the opposite of First Corinthians happens, Lord, because you said, Lord, in your word, only one reason why Christians are weak and sick and are dying early is because they fail to discern your body. We discern your body this morning, O oh God. And we thank you, Lord, that along with that comes divine health, along with us comes great strength, Lord, and along with that, Lord, comes long life, Lord. 
Thank you, Lord Jesus, that by your stripes we are totally and completely healed from every sickness and disease. As you are, so are we in this world, Lord, dealing with matablan sa COVID-19 virus, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray, proclaim, and declare. And we thank you, Lord, that even, Lord, as we partake of your body, every cell and every organ and every tissue in our body is healed, totally restored, and totally renewed in Jesus' name. Adong kauna na lawa si Kristo. Atong isa ka ang kopa. Lord Jesus, on the same night, Lord, you lifted the cup, gave thanks, and said, This is my blood, which is poured out for you for the forgiveness of sins. This is the new covenant in my blood. Do this in remembrance of me. As long as you do it, you proclaim my death until I come again. Thank you, Lord. Your perfect blood has washed us perfectly from every sin, every stain, Lord every darkness in our life, Lord Jesus. And we are forgiven of all of our sins, past, present, and future. Thank you, Lord, for your promise in Hebrews 10, 14, Lord. In the King James Version where you said, Lord, by one sacrifice, you have perfected forever those who are sanctified, Lord. Because, Lord, of your blood, because of what you have done for us on the cross, Lord Jesus, you can now receive every blessing, every promise, every advantage, every benefit, Lord, that you have mentioned in your word. All of your promises are yes and amen, Lord, because of what you have done for us. We receive, Lord, every prosperity, every wisdom, every victory, every advantage, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's drink the blood of our Lord Jesus. We praise you, Lord, for the healing. We praise you, Lord, for the victory. We praise you, Lord, for every promise and blessing. We receive them, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Now the Lord bless you. The Lord keep you from all harm. The Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of His countenance upon you and give you His perfect shalom. The Lord prosper you in all the work of your hands and in whatever you do. The Lord protect you from all harm and all danger. The Lord bless your coming in and your going out. The Lord open up the windows of heaven and pour out so much blessing upon you. You will not even have enough room to receive them, O Lord. Thank you, Lord, for blessing your people, O God. Now unto him who is able to keep us from stumbling and falling, unto Jesus Christ our Lord, and unto God our Father, be all glory, all honor, all dominion, all power, and all authority, and all thanksgiving. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. And the people of God say, Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you for joining us. And... Uh, we have this Wednesday, uh, we continue Gihapon sa atong Wednesday, nga receiving meeting online. We have our Saturday service and our Sunday service Gihapon as usual. So join us then. Thank you so much for joining us now. You are highly favored, greatly blessed, and deeply loved.